Lord. Ah, a heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Pearson, the elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn, beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sour and a skirt. My sweater right is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. She's a... My sweater right is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. She's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffle. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. You don't speak as one from here. Where's your home? These rain-sodden bogs and fog-washed hills are not my home, thank Christ. I come from Francia. My grandfather walked on Francis sod. He spoke of an appetite for conquest that rivaled our own. Sadly, my conquests are reduced to pettish thanes and graceless men. All Frankish fire extinguished. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints were tired of waiting for Beerstan to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land, with or without him. Very charitable of you. My thanks.
Sunan, guide me. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. Show me. this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's animal. When do they not? You could return and report that the Savage Claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? You speak ill of your wife. Has your love faded, or were you ill-matched? As family, we are as close as Cain and Abel. She is a willful woman, and I am a bad husband. You know me, it seems. Only by reputation. A deliciously teasing sentiment. 
I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. Oh. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. If they strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Piston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, the crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Piston. Do not fret. Go, Zulin. Not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look! We are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Oh! Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Bearston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. 
Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight, yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Drink, be merry, eat your fill. Sing of great battles, for tomorrow we may die. There's no problem that mead and song can't solve. Do we not deserve such mirth? A great feast and happiness? The dark days of winter approach. Let us drink them <laughs> away. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Beware of sleep in a witch's bosom, nor let her limbs ensnare you, for she will not bring an early harvest. I, uh... bosom's that? Uh... no. I'm afraid I don't know what that means, Abel. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beerston. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beerston. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. Essex seems at odds with itself. Have you called me here to fix the many problems I've already seen today? No, no, I would not inflict the infighting of my thanes upon you, Eivor. Our matters are more... delicate. And of a more personal bent, requiring a finesse and discretion that these Saxons often lack. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Then what is stopping you? Your King Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the... It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. 
loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Francia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Abel. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pair. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? is with the quick So where that airborne? May be knocked and thrown it. Do you see?
I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening, a blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders, he says that you are here to steal. Well met. Information. I have it. Do you need it? Well worth a little silk. Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. I have not... That's all I have for now. Find me later. A Dane, though Adred calls you raiders, he says that you are here to steal England. Some may be, but I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah, it must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal... We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lama's festival. Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. 
someone's at the door, Rollo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second. Day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! We found your camp, Day! Your friends are all trussed up! No one can you now! Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. I'm Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. Get 
sword ago, you yeah. Hey, wait! Oh. Oh. Cast about this land, brother. This place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. I'll need some time to collect more information. I have nothing more to share for now. It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. 
While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. But neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is myself. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. The camp is well stocked, with fresh rabbits and game. I should speak to both, and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. Gerhild, is it? I, Rolo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. That's all for now. Lord, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can hang. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting, and all hell broke loose. You're lying. I found a rack full of game nearby, enough to feed the camp for days. Told you! I was hunting. Stick to that story, and I'll tell Rolo to take your treacherous head. I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the tree, so I hid. Not fool enough to face him on my own. I have what I need for now. I might find some evidence to test their stories. Lorg. Did you see anything at all? Geralt, talking with a Saxon. I couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead? That oath would be fulfilled. He was tired of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. Gerhild, can we speak again? You weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside. What was your rabbits for? Who are you? I have you know. Who are you to... I am shield... I hear and... You know nothing, Raven... Lord... You're lying. You've got... That's all. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxon... Have you made your decision? On second thought, perhaps there's more to be learned. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxon... Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lorg did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lorg saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Lorik said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. This man knew the Saxons were coming and hid. He was either in league with them, or a coward. A sad fall for a great warrior no longer in his prime. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No! That's not true! Rolo, I beg you! A 
shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beat pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. <laughs> 